Hi everybody, this is Linda from Let's Talk Prepping. Today I want to talk about what to expect when the SHTF event occurs. As the days pass, people's food and water supplies will diminish. Most Americans barely have a few days worth of food and probably even less water. And again, before we go on, please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. People don't believe the worst that can happen will happen. It doesn't occur to many, if the trucks stop delivering food, we're only a few steps away from starvation. You would think that now, because of everything that's happened, the supply chain problems, shortages, the uh, pandemic, that people would wake up and see that it won't take much for our food and water to disappear. When the SHTF event happens, people will storm the supermarkets. There will be empty shelves. There will be fighting for food. You don't want to be anywhere near a supermarket when that happens. And if there's any food available, there's going to have to be some kind of policing around the store because there are going to be long lines to get it, and it would probably be rationed. If the trucks are delivering, you can expect gangs to hijack them. But in a true SHTF event, I don't expect trucks to be delivering. I don't expect there to be lines at the stores. The stores will be looted and everything will be gone. People will then try to barter for food, water, and medicine with whatever they have. And supplies are going to run out quickly. As time goes on, people will become desperate and realize this is a long-term event. And they will do anything to get food. Expect an increase in violent crime and street fights. Gangs will come after your supplies. Some gangs and thugs may even impersonate police officers and government officials in order to get into your homes and take your supplies. Even neighbors will raid your supplies. Police and fire departments will go unmanned. It'll be everyone for themselves. The government might try to confiscate your guns and your food and your ammo. Whether that happens or not, we can't be sure. Your water sources, if they are still functioning, will become contaminated and municipal water service unavailable because no one is going to be going to work. Communications will be down. Expect your phones to be out, TV and Internet to be dead, and even radio stations to stop transmitting. When the power grid goes down, the ability to get news and warnings from the outside world and to communicate with loved ones will disappear. Emergency personnel will abandon their jobs to protect their families. Health emergencies will increase, allowing diseases to spread both unchecked and rapidly. When dead bodies and human waste are not properly disposed of, disease follows. Dead bodies will not be buried. People will use waterways as a bathroom. Rivers will soon become contaminated. So how prepared and self-reliant are you? What do you need to do to prepare for this scenario? Think about what you can do to survive a situation like this. That's the key. What can you do? Figure out what you need to stock to survive this if it happens. So let me help you a little bit here on what you might need to survive so you don't feel so overwhelmed. Because this might not happen all at once, or it might just happen all at once. You just never know. So what you're going to need, of course, is the food, the water, some kind of security, medical. It would be nice if you had a group of like-minded people and then you could divide everything up. You're in charge of security. You're in charge of medical. You're in charge of growing food. You're going to need fire protection, so make sure you have lots of uh, fire extinguishers and maybe hoses that you can run off your rain barrels. So it is not hopeless. You can survive if you plan ahead and start planning now and prepping for everything. And please subscribe, comment, and like the video. And thank you very much for watching.